What's good, Grey Gang? As the clock ticks on, the war on predation rages forward at an alarming rate. No one is safe. Not me, not you, not chickens, and not even Peanut the Savage. If we, as the Grey Gang, keep allowing this to happen right under our note, there won't be a chicken safe from here to the eastern seaboard. And let me just tell you, as long as I'm here, as long as Peanut continues to cheer me on each and every time I come back deer hunting unsuccessful, I will strive, I will grind until the job is done, and I will not stop until the war and predation is over. What is good, Grey Gang? I know, you know, the war on predation, it needs to stop! It's getting a little out of hand, guys. We're losing soldiers every night. This has truly gotten out of control. But let me tell you, I'm no weenie, and I'm here to stop it. Oh, Roger the raccoon thinks it's funny, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill all Kendall chickens. Yeah, buddy, think again. So let me tell you what we're doing today. We actually gotta set two traps this evening. I've already got a few more set out in the wilderness, I guess. But today, we're gonna be setting two more. One dog proof, and then one steel trap. Both of which are primarily gonna be targeting possum, coons, and skunks. If we can get a skunk. I'll be honest, guys. I really have a feeling that those skunks aren't gonna be shying away from killing chickens either. I mean, at this point, it feels like the entire our wildlife is against us in which we're kind of against them too so first off right here we have a dog proof trap first thing in arming a dog proof trap you set it stick it in the ground i'm gonna put a little dog food make sure some goes down in there if we spill a little bit that's perfectly fine because a little bit where you spill that's just gonna tempt him i don't want to fill it all the way up to the top because on the top i'm actually going to put some of this a lot of times it like to use sardines but at the moment right now i don't have any sardines so we're going to use this chicken of the sea it's actually tuna i mean the can says chicken and I don't think a possum's gonna take enough time to read the bottom. So that's what we're going for. I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open with some pliers here, and then we'll put a little bit on top, a little bit on the edges, and then we'll move on down to the next one we're gonna set. And now with this tuna, I'm gonna go ahead, spread out the juice a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the actual meat part of the tuna right there on top. We're not gonna try to put too much of it, because, you know, we wanna obviously save some for later. That right there should be good, guys. Now let's head on down. I wanna go on down the hill a, bit, a little bit. Actually closer to that cave we've been watching. And yes, guys, it is extremely windy out here. I probably should be in the house where it's safe. But first, we gotta go down there and we gotta set that trap next to the cave. I really think we have a pretty good possibility of getting whatever's living in there. Whether it be the possum or the skunk, I think we can get it. This is crazy, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the tips of those trees are going crazy. Whenever it is windy like this, you really do gotta be careful because that's when Widowmakers fall. I said that in a few videos ago, whenever just giant dead limbs just fall out of the tree and kill people. Yeah, this is when it happens, when it's extremely windy like this. Look at those trees, Jake. That's insane. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set this next trap. I'm not gonna try to be out here very long. No longer than I have to. But since we are setting this trap right here in search for a possum and coon, it doesn't have to be set as perfect as it would for a coyote. And what I mean by that is we're actually gonna anchor it directly around this tree. It doesn't have to be a perfect and flawless set for a coon or possum or skunk to get caught in one of these. The main ingredient to catch those suckers is just some good bait. And we got that. We're good. And so here we go. I've actually got y'all on the ground right now. I don't have a trap pod and so right there i just anchored it into the tree now he can't go anywhere from the tree he's pretty well strapped in and now all i'm wanting to do is dig a decent trap bed right here under the tree put a dirt hole stuff some of the good stuff in there and then we should honestly be good to go we can go home take a nap let all these trees fall and then just come back in the morning and hopefully we'll have a critter that's basically the only plan I got. But I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, get off this camera, set this trap as quick as possible before I die. And then just before I head out of here, I'm gonna get y'all back out, show you what the final set looks like. No doubt in my mind we'll have a critter here. And I mean, 10 yards away is the cave. And we know there's stuff living in that cave. It's wild, man. It's wild. And here we go. The set is finally done. It's simple, guys. It's nothing special, but it's simple. It's everything a possum trap needs and nothing that we don't. Right there, simple dirt hole. The trap is right here. It's anchored into the tree right here. You can see a pretty good trap circle. It's perfect. I really don't think I could make it any better. And boy, that wind is getting bad. Okay, guys, I gotta hurry up and bait this thing up and get out of here before something bad happens. Go ahead, put a pretty good, decent piece of meat on the outside, good piece of meat on the inside. That's perfect. I'm gonna get a stick, push it on down in there. This right here will do. Just push that on down in the hole. 
just uh we got to make the cooner possum have a reason to stay here in this area and walk around and try to dig so i'm going to go ahead put most of the meat down in the hole but i'm also going to leave a little bit right here on the outside that way he'll get a taste of whatever is inside and right there guys i'll be honest that's perfect there's nothing more i'm wanting out of that set i'm going to go on home i'll catch up back with you guys in the morning okay guys it is actually not the next day it's not even the next week it's been a week and a half that is insane i've never believed it i set those traps and check them every single day and let me tell you i don't know what's been going on but i can't even catch a possum but of course we did today what else would have caught you know here he is this is actually a stinking huge possum he is massive abram's out here with me he's going to get him out of the trap for us what? <laughs> wow i don't think we're going to skin this guy because we don't really we don't really want this possum he's in a foothold trap so he's perfectly fine we just take him out put him in that cage we're going to take him over to you know pepper his cousin but first i really do want to get a close-up on this guy because this man is huge this is every bit of the biggest possum i've ever trapped like that's probably bigger than peanut no lie that's no that's definitely bigger than peanut that's almost as big as me my goodness that thing is huge this thing is stinking huge he's good color in the back too he's a real nice gray possum he's extremely old i'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the trap then me and abram we're gonna go and transport him up to his cousin pepper but first before we get this possum out of the trap we have to name him i had one guy comment what I, what we should name the next one how about poss sam Paw Sam. And another thing, it's time, baby. The KG pocket knives, they are officially out right now. I'll show you a little bit more up close on them. Now this knife here, it's just your basic pocket knife. It's a single blade, it's a single sharp blade. You can do about whatever you need to with it. Pop it open like that. It has a KG on the blade, and then it also has a KG right back here on the pants clip. And then since we are releasing the knife, we're releasing the knife sharpener too. It's just a basic knife sharpener. Nothing special, not too complicated. It's just enough to get the job done. All right, Paw Sam, it's time to go. That thing is huge. That is the world's biggest possum. And he's not standing down either. He's not gonna play dead with us. Good, he is. Hey, 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 who, hey, 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 Okay, is this even a possum or is this a bobcat? I can't tell right now. We're gonna give him some time to settle down because he's like, he's trying to eat me. Usually possums aren't like that. We're gonna give him a minute, let him calm down to where we can safely transport him out of the trap. But now we have this trail camera set on the trap all night. Well, for the last two weeks or something, last month. And we should have the video of whenever we get him in the trap. And possibly whatever came by to check him out overnight. Because as y'all know, this is the set that we had the red fox around. First video I see on the trail camera, some random dude driving through here with a kayak on the back of his mule. No idea what that's about. Here he is. Here comes big Pa Sam. Big Pa Sam rolling through. He's right back there if you can't see. He's not doing anything right now. He's moving in on the trap right about now. Possums usually ain't that size, but this man is huge. He's, he's like Iron Man or something. I don't think we got the video of him actually getting caught. We definitely didn't, because that was the video before he got caught. We switch over, there's a video after he got caught. At least we saw what in the world he was. Now, goodness, guys, I don't know if you can tell or not. This thing is huge. My goodness, his head's about the size of a hamburger or something. I'm going to have to poke him with a stick. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to... There he is. Got him. Tango down. This man has fangs. This man has stinking fangs. Come on, buddy. You just gotta work with me now. Work with me and I'll have you at the river before you even know. Come on, Pop Sam. Goodness. Oh. Goodness. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. Wait, wait. Wow. Hey, buddy. How you doing today? <laughs> Look at them fangs. Look at them fangs. Oh, he's Oh, oh my man. goodness, Paw Sam, <laughs> you a good nature. Have a little bit. It's gonna be all right. Goodness, Paw Sam putting on the protein, man. Oh my goodness, I mean, I've been bit by a possum. And that's not even a big deal, because like his teeth that I got bit by was that big. That man's teeth were that long. I didn't even possums got like that. He wasn't exactly aggressive. He was just so big. Pa Sam hitting the weight room, ain't it? Been pumping that iron. And now for Pa Sam, we're gonna take him on down to the river, let him go, that way he can grow a family and make more possums the size of canines. I mean, come on guys, tell me, was this a possum or a black bear? I can't tell. Now we're back at the river, right where we left off Pepper the possum. We're gonna see what he does today. Is this possum, is this Pa Sam, is he gonna go down to the river and try to kill a flathead catfish? Or is he gonna take the same exact route as Pepper and like go right up that mountain, up into the 
middle of nowhere, I guess. I don't know. We're about to see. It's up to him. I'm not making any decisions for him. I'm not going to tell him what I think. I'm going to let Paul Sam make his own decisions, and he can learn from his own mistakes, as he possibly already have today. I don't know about you guys, but I think I have a serious connection with this guy. Oh, he just tried to bite me. All right, Paul Sam, this is the, it's the moment of truth. Turn around. You're free. Come on now, man. Come on now. We just got him getting turned around. We'll see. This is what happened to the last possum. He didn't even know where he was. Ooh, 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 ooh. Target recognized. He knows what he's playing. All right, book it, buddy. You're free to go. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. At the, before we got him out of the truck, I was having a serious personal connection with this guy. But now after he just tried to assault me, I don't know if I do or not. Come on now, Paw Sam. You've been wanting to charge me the whole time. Charge me and please just get out of my trap. Hey, Paws. I've only had two possums growl at me, and this is one of them. All right, get out of the cage. We're not asking anymore. All right, no more games. Here you go. I'm putting him out. I'm sorry, brother, but you are not cooperating at all. Sorry, bub. Get out of here, please. For real, get out of here. As we can see, this possum right here, Paw Sam, he decided to go with the river route instead of the high mountain. Smart decision. I would have to say that, too. I mean, there's a lot more resources down here. I think I've seen, like, 20 crates down there. He could, you know, get in there and, like, get some wood. Oh, snap. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's already down there eating a banana. Look, he's eating a banana. Now that there is a Sam with a plan. He thinks he's died and went to heaven. No kidding. Look at all this garbage. I can't believe his cousin Pepper decided to go with the high mountain ridge. I bet all he got up there is like blackberries and stuff. Down here, Paul's, he's got a stick of pizza. He's eating a banana. There's a pepperoni. He's got a stick of pepperoni. I tell you what, Paul, so we're going to leave him alone, let him eat his banana, get somehow inside that mattress probably by the end of the day. But I tell you what, we'll see you later, Paul. So we'll bring your cousin down here next time. Maybe. Hopefully he won't be as stubborn as you. Oh my gosh, Abram, what do you have? What was you about to do? I was about to put him down if he, if he wasn't going to get out of the cage here. Man, dude. You're going full lethal, dude. Thanks for watching Kendall Gray. Make sure you go check out all his videos. Subscribe, like, hashtag Jesus, hashtag Gray Game.